guys so two weeks ago apple released ios 13.6 beta 2 to developers and to public beta testers but today apple has decided to release ios 13.6 beta 3 to developers and also to public beta testers so if you are a public beta tester or a developer beta tester you can easily go into your settings and go to the software update and you'll be able to download ios 13.6 public beta 3. now i did have ios 13.6 6 public beta 2 on my iphone x here and for the most part it has been great i do apologize for not doing a follow-up video i've been quite tied up with ios 14 videos and all the new software releases by apple so ios 13.6 public beta 2 has been quite okay for me the battery life actually did improve comparing it to the previous version but the major bug that i faced with ios 13.6 public beta 2 was that sometimes when i would launch my camera app there it would black out and go to a site like youtube um, and play a certain video that video would basically play with like a black screen and usually it comes and goes but i find that restarting the device usually fixed most of the bugs now since we have a new update here which is ios 13.6 public beta 3 or developer beta 3 depending on which profile you're using this is what i have before the update so if we go to the about section you can see that i'm on ios 13.6 and the software version that i have with public beta 2 is 17g 5045c now it does have a c at the end and the modem firmware that i have here on this iphone x is 3.05.00 now i'm going to go ahead and also see the storage that i have left and the battery percentage i have before uh, updating to this device so the maximum capacity that i have before updating to ios 13.6 public beta 3 is 88 percent as you can see there also we need to make sure we check the storage because some software updates are actually taking more than they are supposed to when it comes to system uh, storage so let's see the storage that i have with this device before updating so if you go to iphone storage and go all the way to the bottom which is initializing or loading the storage that is available and if we go all the way down we can see that you know systems for me is taking around 6.6.38 6 gigs and the storage that i have available if we go to the about section here you can see that i have about 35.47 gigs before updating now it's actually good that this update is not a big one it comes in at around 444.1 megabytes so that storage should actually overwrite some of the storage that was taken up by beta 2 so let's quickly update our device to ios 13.6 this is the public beta 3 and then i'll highlight most of the major features and changes that came with this update Zoop. hey guys so our device is now updated to ios 13.6 and this is beta 3 so if we go into settings and then go to general and go to software update you can see that it says your device is up to date and the software version that we have there is ios 13.6 so let's quickly see what has changed in terms of uh, build numbers and what comes with this software so if we go to the about section there you can see software version ios 13.6 and if we see the build number that we now have on file here we have 17 g 5059 and c now this update does have a c at the end and what that means is that basically there are minor changes or stability improvement the only number that changed is two digits that is five nine before it was four five but now we have five nine and then if we go to the modem firmware version that we have here you can see that we still have 3.05.00 so no update to the modem firmware so if you're having issues with regards to cell wi-fi bluetooth airdrop and any form of wireless connection those issues might actually remain unchanged now let's look at the battery percentage that we have with this update to see if anything changed so if we go to the battery section and go to battery health you can see that the maximum capacity we have is still 88 so the metric responsible for the calculation of battery maximum capacity so it fit to leave it at 88 so that is good i'm happy that hasn't changed it actually hasn't changed in a while and then if we go to the storage that this update took up by going to general and then going to iphone storage you can see that if we scroll all the way down 
um, it's just initializing and if we scroll all the way down you can see that systems here takes 6.38 gigs now before that systems actually took 3.8 gigs so there's no change and there was no drastic increase when it comes to the software system storage being taken up and if we go back to see the iphone storage available before this update we actually had 35.47 gigs but now after this update we have 35.5 so we did gain a bit of uh, storage back and that is good and now let's look at the new features that came with this update if we go to the apple site there actually aren't many new features that came with this update and apple themselves didn't highlight anything but the updates that came with 13.6 beta 2 remain the same and unchanged on this update and just to highlight a few of them if we go into settings and then go to where it says software update you can see that you have an option for automatic download software update so if you turn it on you have now the options to just download the software update but not install it and if you want to download the update and install it you just turn that on but for me i like to keep everything off so that i can be able to record some videos for you and be able to show you my device before and after and also if you have like jailbroken your device or something like that if you turn this on you could find that your device updates overnight and all your jailbreak and tweaks stop working so for me i just like to keep everything off so that's one of the major features that came with this update and also the previous update and if we go to the health app let me just look for the health app which is there you can see that you know into the browse section we now have a section that says symptoms so if you click that you can be able to input data with regards to different symptoms that you might be facing you can see that we have like runny nose we have shortness of breath and also so many features so if you have those and other symptoms that are listed here you can be able to input your data and what you are feeling and if you are to need some form of medical assistant this function will be helpful another new thing that came with this update if you use apple news plus you can now be able to play uh, audio but that function is available to paid subscribers for apple news plus so if you use apple news plus and you want to be able to uh, hear news or articles uh, being read to you either in your car using airpods or using the iphone itself you now have that function with this update and also the previous update supported this so those are basically the main and major features that came with this update now let's look at uh, battery performance and how this device has been performing so if we close everything you can see that you know applications are opening fast there is no slight delay or jitter when opening applications and my camera app is working after this update so no worries right there so that is good and you can see that the camera app is actually snapping photos quite fast although the second one it was a bit laggy so yeah i'm quite happy with the way it's performing and the way applications are opening and closing so let's go into settings and then see my uh, battery section there to see what we have so the last update that i had on this device was ios 13.6 beta 2 so if we look at the last 10 days you can see that i was getting fairly good decent battery life so if we see there perhaps on that day you can see that i was getting seven hours and two minutes screen on time with five hours and 30 minutes screen off time and that was basically using around 120 percent so that was just using this battery for 100% and another 20%. So when it comes to battery performance, my device has been quite okay with the previous update and I'm hoping this one improves as it comes with minor improvements, which Apple didn't of course specify. And also if we go back to see the performance of this device, I did run Geekbench scores. I have, um, I'm using Geekbench 5 and let's see the scores that I got with this update. So if we go to the history that I have here and for CPU, you the geekbench score that i did a while ago you can see that for single core i had a score of 927 and for multi-core i had 2483 and that is for cpu and if we look at the history on beta 2 the score that i had here was 929 for single core and 22 
54. So you can see that there isn't much different, especially when it comes to single core. But when it comes to multi core, you can see that this update, which is iOS 13.6 beta 3, is ahead. So it does come with better improvement in terms of performance when it comes to CPU. Now let's look at the GPU or graphics rendering. If we go to the compute section there, you can see that with this update, which is iOS 13.6 beta 3, we have 4150. And if we look at the history that I had with beta 2, you can see that I had 2904. Now that is a big and drastic improvement. So I'm actually excited to see how applications perform. Not to say that I had an issue with the previous update, but yeah, this update comes with improved performance, both on the CPU section and on the GPU section. So I will be running applications and games and, and comparing it to a device that's running iOS 13.6 beta 2, just to see the difference. But of Overall, you can see that this update iOS 13.6 beta 3 is good when it comes to CPU and graphics performance. Now, in terms of the next release or the next public release, I'm actually expecting it to come around next week. Uh, Monday or Tuesday that is on the 6th of 7th of uh, July so that's when we might actually see iOS 13.6 the public release if that does not happen then we can always push it around next week Thursday and also keep in mind that we are expecting iOS 14 the first public beta to be released sometime next week or the following week so that's my expectation and it's just a random guess considering the pattern that apple usually follows and that's about it for me guys when it comes to ios 13.6 this is the beta 3 and it's available to developers and public beta testers and you can easily download it i am not having any issues so far with this update and in about two days or three days i will do a follow-up video hopefully i'll help you make up your mind whether to update or not but overall i don't see a problem and i don't think you should have a problem with this update the build number is quite stable and applications and functions are working well and yeah that's about it for me guys when it comes to ios 13.6 this is beta 3 if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next upload peace